I rise today to speak about the Trudeau Foundation. The Trudeau Foundation is the talk of the town in many ways, so it's important to review what the foundation actually is. Because the Trudeau Foundation is a curious beast. As far as its structure and its governance goes, it's kind of a, a chameleon, conveniently identifying as a charity some of the time and as a government institution at other times. And, and similarly, the Prime Minister identifies as sort of involved and sort of not involved. And these blurred lines make the Trudeau Foundation and through it the government highly vulnerable to foreign interference. So, so, so let me explain. The Trudeau Foundation was created as a family foundation with a protected role in its governance for members of the Trudeau family. But then the Liberal government of Jean Chrétien, through Minister Alan Rock, decided to give the foundation $125 million of taxpayers' money without actually changing the role of the Trudeau family in its governance. So it became a government-funded and, in law, a government institution, according to informa the Information and Privacy Act, but it retained a protected role in its governance for members of one family. A government-funded government institution that is also a family foundation with a protected role in its governance for one family. And I think this is incredibly bizarre in a free and democratic and egalitarian nation, giving members of one family Privileged control of a government-funded government institution is not consistent with the idea of a just society. Now, the Trudeau Foundation is controlled by 30 members. Up to four of those members are appointed by the Trudeau family, and six are appointed by the Minister of Industry. In its governance, the Trudeau Foundation directly fuses the intellectual estate of the Trudeau family with the Government of Canada, and that is just wrong. Now, the Prime Minister himself, incredibly, is and remains a member of the Trudeau Foundation. He has professed repeatedly and seems to want us to take at face value the claim that he's not involved, not, not at all involved in the Trudeau Foundation, that he hasn't been involved for years. Uh, but that's wrong. He, he is involved, Madam Speaker. He, he's involved in a number of ways. First, the Prime Minister of Canada is necessarily involved by virtue of the fact that he appoints the Minister of Industry who appoints six members. He is involved because his brother is a member of the Foundation and his half-sister is on the Board of Directors. And he's involved because he himself is a member of the Foundation. He hasn't resigned. He remains a member of the Foundation. It, it, it bears his name. And, and whether or not he goes to the meetings, that membership that he retains matters for effective control should he choose to exercise it at any point. And it demonstrates his deep personal investment in the Trudeau Foundation. The personal investment is precisely why a foreign government has sought to curry favor with him through funneling money to the Trudeau Foundation. The system is clearly broken, and the worn-out talking points the government is using clearly don't hold water. The structure is quite evidently broken even before we start talking about the issue of what happened in this instance of foreign interference. Because it is this, this crude hybrid between a family foundation and a government institution, its charitable face solicits direct donations from foreign entities. While its government face sits by and smiles, and the Prime Minister, known by the way for merit wearing many faces, smiles all the more. You see, Madam Speaker, Canada Post wouldn't collect money from foreign political parties, nor would it allow members of a former Prime Minister's family to have a locked-in role in its leadership. That's because Canada Post is part of the government. Now, the Canadian Cancer Society would potentially get donations from abroad, but it likely wouldn't be a target for foreign interference because it's not closely tied to the government and doesn't bear the Prime Minister's name. It's purely a charity. You have, you have roles for government institutions and you have roles for charity. But the problem is the Trudeau Foundation is trying to have its cake and eat it too. It's trying to be vote, both. The vulnerabilities are not only obvious, but they're built into the structure of this organization. And members of the Trudeau family exploited those vulnerabilities to take the foreign money.